In this example, we're going to show how you can combine multiple conditional statements into one specific action. Instead of starting with the action script, though, I'm going to show you what the end result will be first and work backwards from that. In this example, we have now two lines. We have a line that represents the x-coordinate and a line representing the y-coordinate. I've programmed this so that it actually is going to detect both x and y at the same time. So if I click and drag this, past that x coordinate, you notice that it does not turn red this time. If I do take it past that x point and then take it past the y point that I've drawn here, now it turns red. I'm going to show you how you can combine these two conditional tests at the same time. So let's actually go back to the code and show you how this works. All the code is exactly the same with the exception of line 19. If you look here, I have that original conditional test that I had in the last video, dragme.x greater than 250. But I've added another one at the end, dragme.y greater than 200. This double ampersand in the beginning is called an AND operator. It's going to ask, is the conditional test on the left and the conditional test on the right both true? If they are both true, it's going to evaluate the entire condition as true. Now in this case, when I actually drag the court, when I actually drag my drag me object past the x, past the x point, but not the y point, only one of these conditional tests is true. The and command makes sure that both of them have to be true. So when my object is past that particular point on x and the particular point on y, then it actually highlights in red. You can substitute and with another operator called or. Or consists of two pipes. Pipes is the, is the name of the character that's the shift backslash key. And it looks like this, two pipes. This is the or operator. Now it's going to ask, is the drag me object past the x or the y point? So if I start dragging this past x, it also turns red. If I drag it past y, it also turns red. When it's, when it's in both, it actually is still red because or doesn't care if they're both true, it only asks that one of them is true. So using the AND and OR, you can build some conditional logic inside of your application using multiple conditions. The IF and the ELSE statement in conjunction with those gives you the ability to do specific actions based on the results of your conditional tests.